reaffirms United States policy in South Vietnam in a talk to the Association of American Cartoonists. These social satirists hear Mr. Johnson describe Red China as a hungry tiger ready to devour all of Asia using North Vietnam as a cat's paw. Their target is not merely South Vietnam. It is Asia. Their objective is not the fulfillment of Vietnamese nationalism. It is to erode and to discredit America's ability to help prevent Chinese domination over all of Asia. In this domination, they shall never succeed. And I am continuing and I am increasing the search for every possible path to peace. The president visualizes a peaceful, prosperous Vietnam once the fighting can be brought to an end at the conference table. He outlined past aid to South Vietnam since it became independent in 1954 and extended a hand to the communist north to partake of the fruits of what could be peaceful progress with a billion dollar assistance program. He called on the Soviet Union to join with other industrial nations to assure Vietnam's progress. Our efforts in war or peace will continue, he said, and he looked toward tomorrow. It will be there when peace comes to us. And so will we, not with soldiers and planes, not with bombs and bullets, but with all the wondrous weapons of peace in the 20th century. And then perhaps together, all of the people in the world can share that gracious task with all the people of Vietnam, North and South alike.